Good morning, everybody. Winter has returned, and I hope it's only a visit just for today or just for this morning, for real. It's like really cold out there. We've been having 70 and 80 degree days, and it's windy, rainy, and I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's cold out there. So I'm making Instant Pot oatmeal for breakfast this morning. This stuff is so good. It's like the best oatmeal ever. It's very creamy, and y'all have seen me make it before, but I think it's been about three or four months since I've made some. Sorry, in the mornings my voice is kind of scratchy. <laughs> anyway, it is so good. I put in one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats, one cup of water, two and one-fourths of a cup of milk, sissy maize up, and two tablespoons of brown sugar, and you don't have to stir it. Just put it in there like that. That is it. So I've made this before and put apples, like added some apple and cinnamon in here with it. And the apples get really soft and it's really good apple cinnamon oatmeal. But today uh, I'm just gonna make this regular brown sugar oatmeal with, I have some blueberries in the refrigerator. Just seal it up. And we cook it on the porridge setting for six minutes. Some of the kids don't like oatmeal. I have pancakes and waffles and stuff in the freezer, so they'll have that instead of oatmeal this morning. While the oatmeal is cooking, I'll empty the dish drainer and wash those dishes, and then it should be almost done. Good evening everybody. It is almost six o'clock in the evening and around, I think it was around four o'clock, 3.30, four o'clock, something like that, I started seeing the dreaded spots in front of my eyes. And you know what that means? A headache is coming on. And I almost forgot to tell y'all about something that I just remembered that I wanted to tell y'all about because I saw a fly up there. So I'll tell y'all about that in a second. But anyway, yeah, I started seeing the spots. I knew a headache was coming on, so I took something for it. Manly was ready for his afternoon nap around that time, so we went and laid down. He didn't end up falling asleep, though. I don't know why. He just did not take his nap. We laid there for about 45 minutes, though, so that was a nice little rest, and I never really, I felt a little bit of pain, but not terrible. Right now, I'm just feeling like the dizziness from, you know, kind of feels like how you feel after the headache. You're really dizzy and just foggy-like, foggy brain. So I called Titus and told him just to stop and get something on their way home. He was going to pick up Jake and Tyler. Tyler's also riding some of the horses now over at that ranch. So they're both over there helping with training the horses. So Titus and Jonah went to pick them up. So they're on their way back and I just told him, stop and get something to eat. I don't think I could, I mean, I could probably cook, but I'm just feeling like, y'all know, if you, if you get migraines, you know how it is when either after the headache or if you take something fast enough, the pain may not be there, but it's still like you just can't focus. You just feel like you're in this foggy bubble. That's where I'm at. I'm in the foggy bubble, so. 
Bubble, yeah, he's saying bubble. He's down here in his favorite spot. I think he likes to come in here because he loves mama. I think that's why this is his favorite spot. He just wants to come in here with mama, huh? Well, actually, I mean, he comes in here sometimes even when I'm not in here and lays on the lemon mat, but. <laughs> oh yeah, what I was gonna tell y'all, the other night, Jacob, Titus, and all the boys except Manly, they went to the horse sale. if we wanted to go but me and Sissy have been there done that and it's loud and it's dusty and it's annoying she said it's annoying it's just you know you have to really love like horse sale cow sale you have to just if you don't love it you don't want to go i mean we love horses she absolutely loves horses but just going to the sale is not that fun yeah, to some people so anyway, they asked us if we wanted to go. We did not want to go. We stayed here and watched movies. I think while they were gone, we watched like two or three movies. So anyway, we started hearing this buzzing noise. Well, we have horses and cows and such, so there's these big horse flies around, and I thought it was a big horse fly. I was like, great, a horse fly has gotten in the house. We're gonna hear it buzzing, driving us crazy. Well, it wasn't a horse fly. We're hearing the buzzing, right? And it's getting louder and like more ferocious, like it's angry. And I look over here in the kitchen and I see something this long. I'm not even joking, y'all. Not even joking. Let me make sure I got the right size because I'm having fogginess right now. Yeah, I'm thinking about that long. I mean, it was long, very long. And I was like, that's the biggest horse fly I've ever seen. If that's a horse fly, what is that? Got closer to it. And then it got closer to me. It was like, it was going to attack me. It was a hornet, not a horse fly. It was a hornet. So it starts coming at me, you know, and I was like, what, what, what? You came in my house and you're trying to attack me? And so I get the broom and I wasn't gonna try to kill it because those things are hard to kill anyway. And I know if there's hornet lovers out there, I'm sorry, but I did not want it to sting my baby or my little girl. <laughs> so I get the broom, we're gonna open the door and just try to shoo it out the door. We can't, I mean, it's, it's trying to attack us. For some reason it liked the light. So I told Aldra just turn the light back on because that's whenever it came out. We turned the lights off to watch our movies and that's when it came out of the light fixture up there. So I told Aldra just turn the light back on and it went back up there to the lights and it stayed there for the rest of the time. And then when Titus and Jake and everybody got back, I told him there was a gigantic thing up there and we turned the lights off, it came out and he got it outside. Now I'm concerned though, where did this gigantic hornet come from? So Titus looked around he looked around outside and all the next day and he couldn't find a hornet nest or anything So I don't know if this just stray random hornet got in here somehow or what he's gonna look some more and see if he can Find any kind of you know sign of any other hornets because we definitely do not want that going on So that was an exciting evening. We really did have a fun night that night watching movies <laughs> except for the near hornet attack It was fun <laughs> Anyway, I have no idea what they're bringing to eat. I didn't tell him what to get or where to stop. I just told him to stop and bring us something to eat on his way home. So we'll see. It'll be a surprise for us what they bring home to eat. And then later this evening, I really need to put a grocery pickup order in. I'm just going to pick up at Walmart this week because I need some stuff from Walmart anyway that Aldi doesn't have. So I'm just going to do a Walmart grocery order this week. This is Manly's favorite toy these days. This little iguana. Ooh. <gasps> He's going to get you. Cool. <laughs> Go and get your tummy. I need to switch out the laundry real quick. I started a load. I usually always start a load first thing in the morning, and I haven't switched those out yet. Thankfully, I didn't start having the headache issues until after school today. That was good. I really believe it was the sudden change in temperature that gave me this headache. It can totally affect a person. It really can. It can give you headaches, and it can give you stopped up noses or runny noses, and it can make your bones ache. That's for sure. I broke my left elbow when I was four. I think it's I was four. Good. Good. It's good? Yeah. I might have just turned five. I was in preschool. Pooh Corner was the name of the preschool that I went to, or the daycare, whichever one it was. It like Winnie the Pooh, you know, and then corner, Pooh Corner. Anyway, I fell off the monkey bars. I fell and my elbow is what hit first. And I broke my elbow. And when there is sudden change in the temperature, in the weather, my elbow hurts. 
Yes, it does. Titus is back. Let's see what's for supper. What did they bring, Sissy? I'm gonna guess that it's McDonald. No, it's Dairy Queen. I think it's Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen. <laughs> Sissy got chicken strips and fries. Tyler got chicken strips and fries. <laughs> Manly wants a fry. Mama's got yours. I'll get it. Does he like it dipped in gravy? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Flamethrowers, cheeseburgers. Jonah got a chili dog. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is a little while later now. I got all the little kids in the bed. Manly's already asleep, and I'm about to start working on my meal plan. Thankfully, my head is feeling much better. I'm watching The Miracle Maker while I'm working on my meal plan. This is the movie me and Titus watched the other night. It's on YouTube for free right now anyway, so I'll link it down below for y'all. I love this movie. I saw it a long time ago, but when we were watching it, Titus fell asleep, so he never got to finish watching it, so we watched it the other night. And I'm watching it again while I do this meal plan. All right, here we go. I'm going to make this meal plan, watch this movie, and maybe eat a bowl of cereal. I really want some Fruity Pebbles right now. We don't have any, so I'll have to add that to the grocery order for sure. Mm -hmm. 